Welcome to gray on math. We are asked to solve this problem. Yellow and green squares are on a horizontal line and the blue is tilted. What is the total yellow, light yellow region area? But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to take into consideration that the yellow square and the green square are in are on a horizontal line so they make a 90 degree angle with the horizontal line and we form a right triangle between these two squares against the blue square so if you have a right triangle then if we label this as alpha then this should be a complementary angle then we may label this as beta and of course since this is a 90 degree angle then if you draw a vertical line from this then this should be complementary angle and that is beta and since this is 90 then this should be alpha and since this is 90 again then this should be beta and since this is a right triangle the white portion between the blue one and the yellow square then this should be the complement of beta which is alpha and if you draw a horizontal line from this point from the yellow point yellow square then we form a right triangle then we have here should an angle that should be a complementary of alpha and it should be beta and next is we draw a line from the topmost part of the figure downwards then we again form a right triangle. Okay, so since this is a square with a 90 degree angle, then this beta should have a complementary, and that is alpha. And since we formed a right triangle again, then this should be beta. And if we draw a line, a horizontal line from this green square to the left then this since the topmost angle is a square from a square i mean then this should be 90 then there should be a complementary angle alpha and since it is a right triangle then there should be this angle beta, the complementary angle. And for this final right triangle, this angle should be the complementary of beta, which is alpha. Okay, so next is we need to find the length of this white right triangles. Let us call this as a and this as b then this side should be for the green since the area is 45 then the length should be square root of 45 and for the yellow you need to also take the square root then that is square root of 20 and for this blue which makes up the hypotenuse then this should be since the area is 65 then this should be the square root of 65 and same for this side square root of 65 so by Pythagorean theorem we can get the values of a and b so for a it is equal to the square root of the square root of 65 square minus 
the square root of 20 square and this would be a is equal to the square root of 65 minus 20 and the a is equal to the square root of 45 and for b with the hypotenuse being the square root of 65 but you need to square this minus the square root of 45 square and continuing we have 65 minus 45 and b should be the square root of 20. okay so next is that i want you to notice that the white triangles below this right triangles that we formed inside the blue square are actually congruent with the white square white right triangles it is because of the angle side angle theorem since as you can notice that the hypotenuse which is between the two angles alpha and beta are all congruent for these right triangles so therefore these right triangles are congruent okay so next is we are now project a line from the topmost part and get this distance okay so by inspection this distance is actually a distance that is opposite the alpha so if you observe on the white uh, right triangle the side opposite the alpha is the square root of 45 and for this distance this vertical distance This is actually a length that is opposite the angle beta. And by inspection, as you can see, if you look on the white right triangles, then the, the, the side opposite the beta is actually square root of 20. Okay, so next is we find the basis of these two triangles the light yellow triangle so we have here for the yellow above the yellow square we have this square root of 20 and for the one above the green square we have the square root of 45 okay so for the final step is we are now ready to find the area of the light yellow region and as you can see they are two triangles and they should be added to get the total so we have for the triangle above the yellow we have one half times the base which is square root of 20 and the height which is square root of 45 should be added to one half times the square root of 45 which is the base times the height which is the square root of 20 and the area is equal to if you factor out this square root of 20 times the square root of 45 we can actually put it inside a single radical sign 45 times 20 then inside one half and one half still remains then this becomes one then we have area is equal to the square root of 45 times the square root of 20 or the square root of 45 times 20 but we can actually write this as three square 
times 5 for 45. And for 20, we have 4 times 5. Or we can simply write 4 as actually 2 squared. So this is actually a perfect square. So we have area is equal to, if you take the square root of this, you have three times two times five. And if you get the product, then you have six times five is equal to 30. And that is our answer, 30 square units. Okay, so thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.